Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we have a lot going down today in the home transformation series of it all. So if you haven't seen the first part of this series, I uploaded that should be my last video. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. So this morning already I went and dropped Jaden off at school and then I swung by Home Depot and picked up a couple things because I had already picked up all of the supplies to paint the office last week but I realized that I might need a couple more things. So I stopped by there today. I'll give you my little mini haul. I got a, another mini can of paint because we just have one wall in the office to paint which we were going to do today. So I was like, okay, I can just get a small one of these. It'll be fine. But then I remembered that I kind of need to paint the inside of the closet. I might want to put the closet doors back on and paint those. I'll show you guys all that. But I was like, I actually might need another one of these. So I got another one. We got a couple more paint trays. I got this cute register cover because as I will show you, the register is kind of like on the side of the wall up the top and it's pretty visible. And I thought this one was a lot cuter and is like gonna fit the aesthetic of the room. So I got that. I got a couple more paint trays because the ones that I bought last time, they were the wrong size of liners for like the paint tray that I have. So I got these, I got some mini roller trays because I think I'm just gonna need a little mini roller for the touch-ups in like the bedroom and stuff. We got the mini roller, some mini extra roller brushes. An extra big one, I think we have enough at home, but just in case we didn't. We got the little plates that you use to hide the cables behind the wall for the TV. We do have a cord cover, but our TV is on like a swivel mount. And since we're moving our bedroom further down the wall, the TV has to kind of swivel over. And now the cord cover isn't center with the TV, if you know what I'm saying. So I think it'll just be easier if we hide the cords behind the wall. I watched a couple of videos and it doesn't seem like it's actually that hard, so... We'll see if that's true. And I got one more extension cord because I literally never have enough of these. So that's what we picked up today. Also, the mirror that I told you in the closet that I wanted to gold leaf, I started that a few days ago, but I realized that I didn't really have enough supplies and I also needed to watch some more videos on the how-tos of it all because it just wasn't going quite as planned. So I got a few more things and I think we're gonna give that another go. So to start, I think I'm gonna show you guys what the rooms look like right now because I feel like we have changed a couple things since filming the last video. So I'll just catch you guys up to speed and then we will get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what our bedroom looks like right now. I also have to clean it today, so don't judge. So I don't know if you can really tell in this clip, there's all of our Home Depot supplies. Um, and we moved the bed away from the wall and put this gold chest that I was talking about as our temporary nightstand on this side. And I'm going to have to move this nightstand over since, like I said, it's not center with that cord cover and it bugs me. So today we're going to take the cord cover off. We're going to move the TV stand so it's center with the TV, move this plant somewhere else. Get rid of these hanging plants because all you see is the dirt. You need like a larger plant in those, like a larger hanging plant that will cover all the dirt or something. It's just not working. So I don't think I showed you guys last time, but I put this white table here temporarily to be like my little vanity setup. Um, like you guys have seen, my new desk will go from like the wall to the wall and it'll be half vanity, half desk. So it's, yeah, it's gonna be a similar setup, but just a lot cleaner. And then I temporarily have my easel in here to do some homework. And then this is going to be the wall that we are painting today. This is the register that I was talking about. I also have to clean the ceiling there. We're also going to paint the inside of the closet because it is the same color as the wall. As you can see, we just painted up into the closet doors last time. Same with this. That's exactly where the storage unit was. That's pretty cringe to look at, but it's gonna look a lot cuter and brighter once that is all done. And a couple smaller things as well. I bought this plant stand from Walmart. That's actually so cute, can you see? So I'm gonna have to pop this. I also got little plants that I've been holding on to from the grocery store not long ago. I'm obsessed with this, it's so unique. So I'm gonna try to pop that in this maybe, or maybe I'll put the pothos in here. I haven't quite decided. Okay, so I've decided that the first thing I'm actually gonna do is to hide the cords in the wall because I know there's gonna be some holes with that that I'm gonna have to patch anyways, so I may as well do that all at once. So I got two packs of these, which is basically to cut a hole in the wall to fit this, and then you stick that in, and then 
you can put the cords down in here. So you'll have this one like kind of like funnels down and then you'll have another one on the bottom that like funnels up directly underneath and then the cords will come fall out of here. I think it's actually not that hard. Hopefully I'm not eating my words in a couple minutes. So let's see how that goes. So in the package, I just noticed it actually came with a little template. So I'm gonna tape this on the wall and then trace around the box that I need to cut and then it'll be perfect size. So we're gonna do that on the top and on the bottom. Update, we are literally so close to getting this spot cut out, but I think my X-Acto knife is not that good and my muscles just might not be quite as strong <laughs> as they need to be. The instructions say that you should use a drywall saw, but the videos that I watched using the same exact product, the guy just used an X-Acto knife, but it was like an industrial X-Acto knife and mine's more like a crafty X-Acto knife. So I might just go pick up a better exacto knife. I feel like that would make a big difference. Um, what time is it? Oh yeah, and in like an hour, Jane's done school, so I might need his big muscles to help me. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all the holes, get a different exacto knife, and then have him help me finish this up. Okay, so I have my whole filling supplies. I have this dry dex, and then a little spatula, and we're gonna go ahead and fill all the holes in the bedroom, closet, and office. Why hello, it is a couple hours later. I went and picked up Jaden from school. We got a better X-Acto knife from Home Depot that I'm really hoping will work. But before we do this, I'm gonna finish filling all these holes. There are so many more than I remember. And then we will finish the TV. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see it. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see it. Must be something bad features. You find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the guys it is a little while later um that was um a little bit longer of a process than i anticipated it to be to be honest but we got it done and i do think it was worth it so let me just show you what it looks like now we move the tv stand over there are no cords obviously we still have to sand and paint all of the holes that we patched but it is looking a lot cleaner a lot nicer the cords are so much more managed i used to have extension cords coming out of this outlet and all throughout just jumbled in this whole corner and it's so much cleaner now so very very pleased <laughs>
Hey guys, a long time, no chat. Um, since we talked last, I finished painting the office and I have started to put some stuff back in to the closet. So yeah, I guess just to catch you guys up, the past couple days have been a little bit interesting as I'm sure all of you guys are aware of all the corona stuff going on right now. But in the last couple days is kind of just where things have really hit home where my school has been canceled for the semester or moving on to online and the store that I work at is being closed until further notice so yeah it's just been a little bit of an interesting and different last couple days and we're just going to be focusing on things like doing the office and stuff until you know things change so yeah, that's basically where we're at. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm sure you guys know enough and I'm just going to offer this as a little bit of a distraction from all of it. So, so let's just continue on, move forward and just be positive. Right now, I'm just going to work on continuing to organize the office. Our IKEA order is still set to come on Tuesday, so fingers crossed that nothing changes with that. We will see. But yeah, um, everything is still in the living room. So I'm going to slowly try to organize all of that as well as I had to go to campus and pick up all of the stuff I had at school. I had like two full lockers full of my art supplies because I've been drawing and painting. And now I just have all of that stuff at home and I need to set up kind of a studio space for me to finish those projects um, over the rest of the semester. So we're gonna organize that as well. So let's just jump on into that. I'm gonna start off by finishing the closet. I don't want to put anything on the top yet, especially because we're waiting for our bins and stuff to come in from Ikea for on the top, but I'm going to put all of our shoes in the bottom of the closet. We're also waiting for a different shoe rack that's going to go underneath there, but just to get the shoes out of the living room, I'm just going to put them on the floor for now. So let's do it. And just like that, they all pretty much fit, <laughs> kind of. Obviously, really looking forward to the shoe rack situation coming in, but this worked a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, so I've been thinking about what I should use to set up kind of like a little studio space. So I'm thinking that in the closet, like opening in our bedroom, I'm gonna put my easel and this table for now. Try and get everything <laughs> organized so the chaos doesn't feel so chaotic if you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and do that. This is not Picasso works, you know? Is in, it? A, in a closet. In a closet? Yep. That's how he was. Hey guys, um, excuse my appearance. It is late at night on day five, day four of self-isolation. So this is what we're working with. Um, but we're going to give the gold leaving of the mirror another go. Um, we're gonna get this done hopefully tonight. So tomorrow we can just focus on all the Ikea stuff and I will have some good footage to show you. So let's go ahead and jump on into Doing this mirror hopefully a lot more successfully this time around. <laughs> guys it is the next morning and this is the finished product for the mirror like I'd said earlier it does look kind of weird with the cool tone paint and we do have some extra paint left over from the office so I might actually tackle this and just paint it white since I have a little bit more <laughs> time on my hands now anyways but yeah I don't know I'm really happy with it I think once this room actually gets like styled um, it'll really really look nice it's like definitely really distressed if you can see like the silver still peeking through in certain areas but I kind of just decided that that is the vibe with this um, especially with like areas like this when we pull out these drawers it does kind of rub on the mirror so it's gonna wear anyways so I'm not mad about it I actually really am happy with like this distressed kind of 
look. I think it's really cute. Hey guys, um, I thought it would be a good time to just sit down and chat for a minute. Um, I tried talking about this earlier in the video, but I thought I would maybe give this another shot. So basically, I started filming this video about a week ago, uh, where things in the world were quite different. It's Tuesday the 17th right now when, when I'm talking to you. It's nice that I have all of these home projects to kind of distract me from the bigger picture right now and I hope that they can offer some distraction to you as well. I'm not here to talk all about the elephant in the room because I'm sure we've all talked about it enough but it's basically why I didn't talk a whole lot throughout this video. I was kind of going through the phases of it all um, and just keeping myself busy. Today is actually our scheduled IKEA delivery which as far as I know is still on um, and it's really exciting that we have that to look forward to and we get to refurnish our office and stuff today I was going over all the footage that I got already this week and I did get quite a bit more than I realized So I think I'm gonna start a new video today showing you all of our IKEA stuff putting that all together Doing all of that that's gonna be like a whole thing on its own So you can look forward to that very soon Then you'll probably be editing those videos kind of at the same time So they will probably be posted only like a couple days apart but yeah, so obviously that kind of affects things. I don't think I'll be spending a whole lot of money on furniture and stuff at the moment just until we kind of have a better grasp on what the next couple months are going to even look like. So we're just going to be kind of picking away, organizing, doing the best we can with as little as possible kind of thing. There's obviously some things that we've already purchased, like the IKEA stuff and other things that we've just had kind of waiting um, to redecorate with. So we'll still have all of that to come, but expect some different content from me soon as well. I have some other videos planned. So yeah, we're in this together. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm really excited to be able to show you the next couple of videos. Are you still there? To delete message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear options, press 0. What are you talking about?